Hi Taurus friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe and healthy. Taurus, this is going to cover the next two weeks for you guys, April 13th to the 26th. Our sun, moon, and rising signs. And if the reading does not resonate for you, Taurus, please be sure to watch your other signs. I am using 18 coin tattoo tarot for you guys. For Taurus. Okay, you got the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Some of you definitely could be waiting on a job. Others of you are getting a raise, promotion. And, you know, the Nine of Pentacles, some of you definitely, you know, you planted your seeds, you see the growth, and you're almost at the Ten. And it's like, too, like you're ready to literally just take off and, and start this, do this, get it. Whether it's starting something new, a raise, promotion. It looks really, really nice. But you're definitely waiting. That did not flip over. Your cards are Those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Beautiful. Nine of Cups. Emperor. Aries Taurus Male. Six of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. I know it looks like the Ace, but Queen of Swords. Let's see right here. Seven of Swords. Nine of Swords. The Hermit. Sign of Virgo. Wow, and the Sun. This was just out for Capricorn in a different in a different deck. Your overall energy, King of Pentacles. There's your Virgo, I'm thinking. Ten of Cups. What else is under here? Ten of Cups. Temperance. The Ace of Pentacles, wow, and the and the Six of Cups, and then the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Ten of Cups. You know, it says love across, tattooed across the fingers. A relationship definitely is important. So, for some of you, definitely something could be going on with your relationship. Yes, definitely it could be romantic. 
it could also be a really tenant, you know, this is family, so it could be a relationship with family. Maybe there was something going on. But with temperance there, you know, that's a healing, very spiritual energy. So things within your relationship definitely are balancing out. Some of you, you know, some of you definitely could even be mending your relationship. If there was something that was ongoing, you're trying to make it work. Heal your relationship. Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and then the Eight of Pentacles. You know, those of you that are not dealing with a relationship matter or a family matter. With the Six of Cups, if you've been waiting on something, you know, from the past to come back. Temperance is all about patience. You know, even with the Six of Pentacles, balance. You know, this Temperance card. Like, that's the Eye of Spirit. So, this definitely could represent divine timing. Those of you that have been waiting on a job, waiting on money to come in, waiting on something, someone, closure with, the pat, with something from the past, you know, the Ace of Pentacles is a solid, grounded new beginning. Some of you could be getting a new job. I do I really do strongly feel like you're dealing with divine timing. But I also see you moving toward this new beginning. And with temperance, very much being spiritually and divinely guided. Some of you just need to be a little bit patient. You do have something coming in with the past matter, situation, a person. With the Ace of Pentacles, though, there, Capricorn, there is a very strong, or Taurus, I'm so sorry. There is a, there is a very strong um, new beginning coming in here. That Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. And the overall energy for you guys for the next two weeks is the King of Pentacles. Even though you guys have emotional and mental energy in this reading, you're still coming up in your own element, no matter if you're male or female. So I do see you very emotional, even though you do have some emotional and mental energies that you're dealing with. But some of you, this ace of pentacles, again, it's going to be a new job, a new business, a new life, a financial opportunity, something that you've been waiting on, something even from the past that's coming in for you. But I do feel like this is going to make you very, very happy with the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, emotional happiness, abundance. When that Ace of Pentacles comes through for you. You know, for some of you, this definitely could even be a, a wish come true. It could even be a new home for some of you. Others of you, definitely a new job. 
and it is something that is going to benefit like the whole family I feel it's probably going to be a job that you absolutely love doing Doris and you have the emperor sitting here Aries Taurus male Those of, let's just say, okay, those of you that this is a new job, you could be moving up within the company that you already work for. This would be a higher paying position, a place of power, authority. And it is going to make you very, very happy on an emotional with the nine, the ten of cups. You know, it is like you are sitting in a place of power. It does come with, definitely it comes with, with responsibilities here. And, and you do have the Nine of Swords. Those of you that are starting over a new job over the next two weeks, I feel like you're feeling anxious. You're worrying. feeling like there's nothing you could do but listen I really see that as short-lived for those of you that are dealing with this mental energy for some of you it's like you're just you're worried you're scared you're fearing the worst maybe you know like fearing that someone's lying to you for those of you that are dealing with this Aries Taurus male or this is you as a male, this could even be your boss. For some of you, you know, those of you that are married, this could be your partner or spouse, but there definitely could be some, some fear here. Seven of swords, nine of swords, I mean... This is definitely lies, deceit. You know, someone being sneaky, sneaking around. But again, I do see it as fear here for a lot of you. Some of you, it is fear with this Aries Taurus male. And again, it could be with your boss. It could be with your partner or spouse, even your father. But I definitely see this fear around this person. Some of you definitely need to spend time alone with the hermit. You know, I, I feel like it's very much needed for some of you. If you're, especially if you're finding yourself overthinking too much, being too much in your head, you know, definitely, definitely, you know, which we're all doing now anyway, just, you know, maybe even, you know, being a, a lot of us are on lockdown, you know, even journaling, spend time alone, go within. Get yourself, you know, back to your grounded, stable self. Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving. Let's see. So... You know, for a lot of you, I feel like this is about a lot of giving of yourself, but also receiving information, clarity. You know, the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, and then also the Sun. If, and the end the hermit card but 
the hermit does represent, especially with this hermit and this ace of swords, the sun. So this, that is all about gaining clarity, the truth. You know, there's definitely something coming to light here. Some of you are finding something out, whether it's news, information, you're definitely finding something out. If you were stressing about a situation with the Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, once this truth clarity comes, comes out for you, you're not going to be stressing any longer. And I see this definitely in the second week. And the sun is the most positive card in the entire deck. You know, some of you definitely could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That could be you if you have air in your chart. But if you've been waiting waiting on enlightenment, clarity, even concerning this air sign female, you know, she's all about the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. You know, very honest, fair. So those of you, you know, for some of you, I just, I feel like truth, clarity is definitely coming in for you, especially if you were asking yourself if someone was lying to you or cheating on you. Whatever the case may be, the Seven of Swords definitely, you know, can sometimes go in either direction, depending on the surrounding cards, especially, you know, in this deck. I don't feel like this person is all out for themselves or shady or sneaky. But sure, it could be. But those of you that were, you know, really wondering... You know, you do definitely have the truth coming out. And it's, it is it is going to put your mind at ease. Some of you could be just spending time alone. And it very well could be because you're, at, you're it's like you're literally, it's short-lived. You're literally at the end of doing this because you're ready and you are starting down a new path. And I do see that. And it is going to be maybe even a stressful a stressful path for some of you. But at the end of the at the end of the second week, really, it is going to make you emotionally very happy. It's even a wish come true for some of you. But if you do need to make a decision or you're waiting on one, whether it's you, someone else, someone definitely needs time to figure things out. But I definitely see things coming out into the light for you, Taurus. Magical Times Empowerment card for additional guidance. Big changes. God, change. I can't even make this shit up. You are transforming. Let go of the past. Embrace the light and joy of this new day. Wow. No doubt you're going to make a decision or someone else is going to make a decision and changes are coming in. Those of you that have been waiting on some kind of help or assistance, money, support with the Six of Pentacles, some kind of help that's coming in for you. It definitely could be financial, especially waiting on a loan, child support, something like that. I 
honestly, really, some kind of beautiful blessing is coming in for you guys. And with this card, changes are big. Very, very big. Beautiful. Not just beautiful. That's right. I mean, wishes and dreams coming true. And look at this Seven of Swords. Like, I just don't feel it in this card at all, in this deck. Taurus, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. Absolutely love you guys. I'll see you back here soon. Take care.